Welcome to the tour around the Fripp VT campus. The purpose of this short video is to maximize your investment and help you get off to a good start becoming the speaker you are destined to be easily, conveniently and quickly. In case we haven't had the pleasure of meeting in person, I, of course, am Patricia Fripp, your virtual speech coach, 24-7. You will never disturb me. Another important part of the team is Paul, who is our Director of Client Experience. Hello. In addition to handling technical questions, I'll also be moderating the Fripp VT user meetings. So make sure to register each month for the user meeting. Even if you can't come live, you'll receive the replay link. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me by email, paul at fripp.com. All right, Paul, when our friends and users sign in for the first time, of course, this is what you are looking at. For our long-time members, this is slightly different than they used to, and it proves the point that why, whatever reason you have a VT account, you know all speaking is public speaking. And as soon as you sign in, your screen for Fripp VT will look like this. So, Paul, explain what everyone is looking at. In the top portion of the page, you'll see a carousel that will help you navigate around the site. You have the training center will be the first option that you see typically. And anything that you see that has a preview button, you can click on that and you'll get a little video of Fripp pop up to let you know what is in that section. You can navigate around the carousel from the training center to the report card where you can see your progress in the system and what courses you've completed in chapters. In the file vault, there will be a handout for each chapter in each course. It's just an overview of the content that you'll see. There's also some special reports and eBooks, including your membership cost. Every once in a while, you'll come across a chapter that really resonates that you want to go back and see. So you can mark it as your favorite and it'll be located in the favorite section. Also in the section will be your notes that you take that we'll show you in, a, in just a moment. Immediately below the carousel, there's a set of eight buttons where you'll be able to navigate directly to where you want to go without having to go through the carousel. And then below that is just a quick dashboard that shows how many times you've logged in, what your training activity is, and a quick link section to where you can get to your recent training without having to navigate through the training center. And Paul, now let's take us to the training center. And you will find that whenever you sign into a course, I will give you a quick overview of what you are about to see. So, Paul, why don't we, you see, we can look at uh, some courses are going to be more pertinent for you than others. It depends if you are a keynote speaker, if you are a, a corporate leader, if many of your communications are online through webinars, or if you are a sales professional. All courses will be of interest, some more specifically to why you signed up. You can take them in order or directly go to what is most interest to you. It's not bad to take a quick overview of chapter one, getting started developing your presentation skills, even if you are a seasoned professional. One of the popular courses for everyone is, of course, stories. So when you first click on it, and, and let's show a quick segment of the stories book. The importance of a good story. Nobody can resist a good story well told. In this course, you will learn the techniques that will make your stories and examples memorable and repeatable. If you're ready, click the Start Training button. Now, while Paul is finding which one we're going to show you, you will notice the heart at the beginning of the chapter. This is what makes it a favorite for you. And that will be in your favorites tab. 
You will also find as you're engaging in the system, if you want to, you can take notes. That will also be in the notes and the favorite section. So Paul, let's go back to the training center. Certainly just one moment. And what you will find, we will take you later, it's very good to go to the bottom of the page to the system requirements because FRIP VT is mobile friendly. Just make sure that your device has everything loaded on it that it needs to enjoy the whole FRIP VT experience. And coming back to the training center, the importance of a good story. The important. How often have you sat in an audience and been mesmerized by a speaker? Was it their compelling content? Were their stories scintillating? Do they have the ability to reach out and grab you in a way you thought, wow, the speaker is talking just to me? Be honest. How many life-changing, career-building, or awe-inspiring presentations have you heard? Have you ever been that speaker? What would it mean to you and your career if you had that ability? I guarantee if you've heard a good speech, sermon, or business presentation that you enjoyed and remembered, at least one reason that made it memorable was the stories. And then we'll meet the audio for right here so you can just see the content that's coming up on the screen. And then on the side to the left, there is a tab that you can click. And this is where you will take your notes. And those notes will appear in the My Favorite section. And you'll also be able to print them out in PDF form too. And as you notice, while I am talking just to you, because I am your personal speech coach 24-7, the side asset, the box to the side, visually and with bullet points, reinforces what you are learning. This is designed to keep you engaged. And as you will find, as you're going through the chapters, there are many places where you have to engage. We are not out to trick you. We are there to help you learn. So you will be asked questions throughout. You have options of how you answer. And then at the end of each chapter and at the end of the course, you are asked more questions about everything you've learned. If by any chance English is not your first language, certainly Frit VT or the recording is in English. However, if you would find it easier to see the headlines and the questions in another language, you just go up to select language and Paul, why don't we pick how about German? Let's see what happens. So you see, I am still speaking to you. However, the headlines and your notes and the questions are in a language which might be easier. Again, this is all designed for repetition and reinforcement and to help you learn. You can certainly go through all the courses all at once. And many of our FRIP VT users go through it all in a fairly short amount of time. And then they go back again, because remember, this is designed not only for you to watch, it's designed for you to find ways to adapt it to your own personal communications. Now, what you are now looking at is a way of how you can engage. We are asking you, so for example, you are well served to develop one, an arsenal of great stories, plenty of accurate statistics, or a dozen charts and graphs. Paul, why don't we select A? which in this case is of course the right answer and you will get a thumbs up. If you get the wrong answer, I will never actually tell you you're wrong. I'll just give you the right information in a way that does not make you feel bad. So Paul, why don't we go down and show our Fripp VT user how to check the system requirements just to prove to them 
that the mobile device or computer they're working on is fine for FRIP VT. Certainly. Let me just go back to English. And then system requirements is right here at the bottom of every page within FRIP VT. And from here, you'll be able to see that, of course, with my system, everything passes because I use this quite frequently. But occasionally, you may have a slightly older computer or a slower internet connection, for instance, in a coffee shop. And if you're having any issues, this is the first place that you go to, to make sure that everything is going to check if, and that everything's passed. If everything's passing here, you're still having issues again, don't hesitate to let me know. And we encourage you to go in and play with Fripp VT. Uh, Paul, if you'd like to go back to the, the home page again. And one more thing, we mentioned earlier that we're going to show you how to make a favorite. Oh, so yes. in any course, right next to the chapter title, there's a little heart. So you can either click on the heart to select it or click on the heart again to deselect it. And that will bookmark that chapter for your favorites. And Paul mentioned our FRIP VT user meetings, which are once a month. And we sometimes, aren't, well, we always answer your questions. Sometimes we have expert guests. Sometimes we just focus on a subject and Paul and I are your only presenters. As Paul said, this is a, a great value to reinforce what you're learning. And it is an opportunity for you to have your specific questions answered. If you can't attend, do register. As long as you're a member of FRIP VT, you will be invited. Once in a while, you'll be invited to other sessions open to the public, those you can feel free to share with your friends. If you have any questions whatsoever about content, you can email me, pfrip at frit.com. Any technical questions, you better ask Paul. Paul at frit.com. Thank you for being part of our community, and we certainly look forward to serving you. Accomplish your goals to be a very effective presenter easily, conveniently, and quickly. And remember, all learning requires repetition and reinforcement.